Ja, zwei Stunden für den Dungeon. Let's go. Oder? Ne, natürlich haben wir da kein Taxi. Warum auch? habe ich noch. Okay, Kasuga, wenn alles abgehakt ist, gehen wir jetzt nach District 5. Diesen Teil der Stadt kenne ich noch nicht. Wollt ihr lieber wollt ihr lieber übernehmen? Aha. Kein Problem, aber eigentlich war noch niemand von uns schon mal da, oder? Ja. Stimmt, wir sollten also mit Ärger rechnen. Yes. Eine kluge Einschätzung. So. Erstmal den Drinking schnell machen. This man park for the she is for I will Yes, you know it. I said I know I win it, but yeah, well, I'll collect it. All right. Gosh. Ja, ist auch mit, äh, mit Waffen, ne? So, warte mal ganz kurz. Die Gruppe einmal bearbeiten. Ihn wieder rein. Ja, genau. Da. Da müssen wir hin. Das müsste, glaube ich, das letzte Gespräch sein. Wie lange brauchst du für den Download? Alright. Drei Stück fehlen aber noch, ne? Ja, nicht schlimm. So. Watch me. Another ten. All right. There's our target. Drop. Here goes. <laughs> Pick it time. 
Okay. Den wollen wir natürlich bei uns im Team haben. Komm schon. Alright. Sehr schön. Should I open it? Got it. Should I open it? Sweet. Schon wieder da. Yo, what for that then? Oh, 
Meine Nachträge, jawohl. Das wurde aber auch Zeit jetzt. So, einmal heilen. So, dann haben wir den zweiten Drink. Speichern erstmal, bevor wieder irgendein Kampf gleich kommt. Gaming. Schon fertig mit Zocken? Yes, of course. Yes, sure. Yes, I just right. Ah, yes. Honestly, I'm just glad Kiryu-san's got Sunny there to support him. With all that she's doing, oh, okay. Not... Fine, no need to do all that. Don't you worry, cousin. That reminds me. That... I do hope that. Rust... Hast du jetzt mit deinen Leuten gespielt oder mit random? So, haben wir hier noch ein Gespräch? Sieht nicht so aus, ne? Okay, warte mal. Time to put our feet up. Thank you very much. Gibt doch nur 10 Punkte, ne? Kann ich dir noch ein Geschenk geben? Ja, kann ich. 
Thank you very much. Oh, dafür gibt es nur sieben Punkte. Warte mal, haben wir oben noch mit. Nein. Ja, hi. Thank you. Warte mal, wir haben doch hier oben noch die Kiste, ne? Ja, haben wir. So. Das nehmen wir mit. Ja, ganz viele Blumen von uns geschenkt. Vielleicht kriegen wir den damit auf Stufe 30. Dann haben wir jetzt schon mal den nächsten äh, Drinklink. Komm mal her. Ja, ich habe ganz viele Geschenke für dich. So, als erstes kriegt er die Kippen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ja, wenn schon mal auf 23. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ja, auf 3 ist schade, auf 30 kriegen wir ihn nicht. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 25. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Aloha. Starvin. Jo, alles klar. Thank you. Thank you. So, was kriege ich jetzt von dir? Aloha. Gar nichts, ne? Thank you. Thank you. So. Ready for any so, durch das neue Level haben wir jetzt aber trotzdem nichts. Nichts Neues freigeschaltet, ne? So, wir müssen dahin. Ja. Hier nochmal eben die Mülltonne. Ja, 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 ja. Zurück in dich zu versehen, sei darauf vorbereitet. Die vorne Stufe 39. Phew. Natürlich sind wir vorbereitet. Das war ein hell of a trip. Ich muss sagen, selbst wenn sie Kultisten sind, 
It's not exactly uplifting doing battle with people who look like ordinary citizens. No survivors! I want every one of them gutted and left to rot in the sand! Ah! How about these guys? Do you feel all right about taking them on? I believe this is a fight I'll savor. Same here. Let's make this fun. I'm gonna. All right, let's go. Da sind schon die nächsten. What the hell you want? Don't you go mucking up business. Okay, you ask for it. Well. You're in. Take this. Prepare yourself. Nosy bunch of chumps. You think you can move in on us? Think again. You're outnumbered. Better start saying your prayers. No turning back now, is there? Tch, like that was ever part of the plan. <laughs> I see you haven't changed. Same Kasuga, different day. Wow, are you sweet? Now then, how about we let loose? Yes, let's. You don't want to miss me. Okay, you ask for it. Watch me. Watch me. You think I'm too Come on, stupid man. when you get scared? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now. Like that. 
<lacht> Geil. Keine Combo machen. Damn it, there's no end to them. Indeed, they have more numbers than expected. All right, then let's hunker down for now. Hey, that place looks clear. Follow me. Hier folgen wir doch überall hin, oder? Oh, wir können hier speichern und uns voll machen. So. Oh. Du, was für ein Glück, euch hier unten zu erwischen. Nicht gut. Der typ, die Typen sehen knallhart aus. Seid vorsichtig. Sind wir. Tschüss. Bestimmt noch was für uns zum Sammeln. Another harmless slave. Ja, guck mal hier. Da haben wir noch ein Safe. Should I open it? Ja. Got it. 
Piratenstiefel, schnittige, wetterfeste Stiefel für die Freibeuter der Meere. Okay. Mal gucken wir mal direkt, ob wir die bei irgendeinem ausrüsten können. Stufe 40 jetzt. Ja, guck mal, die sind schon da. Schlüssel. Was eine Bruchbude. Wir müssen da lang, ne? Ja, guck mal, da stehen die Idioten ja schon. So. Schade, hier ist nichts mehr. What the hell? I'm gonna put you in your face. I'll say. Well. Sehr schön. Thank you. 
can make it this far. But a little death is here! Watch me. Now the dance! Right off! There's our target! Cross, here goes! <laughs> Zimmer, haben wir irgendwas rumliegen? Hm, leider nein, ne? So kann's gehen. Wieso bin ich betäubt? Here I come! Should I open it? Sweet. Detective Jacke. Uh, Gib mir Ausrüstung. Apache. Detective Jacke, da haben wir sie doch. So. Lange sind wir schon hier. Ich wusste nicht, dass der Untergrund hier so riesig ist. Immer noch kein Ende in Sicht, aber wir müssen uns beeilen für Lani. Okay. Den Affensprung bitte. Too easy. 
Your wave's down. Should I open it? Got it. Star Rider Yucca. Uh, yeah, Ichiban is durch. Ne, da braucht man ja nur noch bessere Stiefel. Der, die Detective Jacke. No. Cozy. Der hat seine Ulti. Nö. Einmal heilen, speichern. Let's go, little lady. Ach, der you got a Arsch. ticket for Nelly Island. One way. Lonnie! Uh, got some fun. Yeah. You got some shiny brass ones coming this far. I'll give you that much. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to turn your ass around and head back. If you don't. Who knows what might happen to the girl? Are we supposed to believe you'd kill her when she's due on the boat? You're under orders to bring Lonnie to Nelly Island, alive and well. Achan pulled that same crap on us, unfortunately for you. Am I wrong? <sighs> Bryce is the only one making decisions, isn't he? You are nothing but a pawn to him. What a bunch of fools. When you think back on this, remember, it was your own damn fault. Money! <laughs> Shit! Good going, that was beautiful! This is why children need to learn discipline. What hope do they have? But all the adults think they're heroes. You know something? In Hawaii every year, sharks only attack three, four people at most. I think we can do better than that. Let's set an all-time record. All you heroes, you're nothing but goddamn shark food. Mm -hmm. You've reached the end of the line. Come on. Let's go. Well. Well. Take this. <laughs> Was gut. Der hat Schwäche dagegen. von hinten an, ne? This is 
wound. Okay, 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 okay. Take this. A gift for you. Place is wired to blow. Be careful, Kasuga. <laughs> Müssen, äh, einmal kurz heilen. Mal Tommy Hallen. Gelaufen für ihn, wa? Nice. Think I'm getting stronger. Nice. I'll take it. Excellent. Ah! 
It's okay to come out now. Uh, the bad guys are, uh, taking a nap. Mr. Kasuga? Mr. Kasuga? I know it was scary. Are you feeling all right? Are you hurt? Mm-mm. That's good. Akane-san's been so worried about you. Want to come back now? Yeah. Um, thank you so much. <laughs> no trouble at all. Look who's here! <gasps> Lani! <gasps> Akane! I'm so glad you're safe! <gasps> Thank goodness! Thank goodness! Akane! <gasps> Forgive me, Lani. I can't imagine what you've been through. You're okay? Mm-hmm. Mr. Kosaka rescued me! Eh, just keeping my word. <laughs> well done. You saved the day, Kasuga. Kiryu-san, I made you a promise. Oh, hey! Lani-chan wants to say hi, I bet. Feel like talking to her? No. Not yet, at least. Lonnie still isn't out of the woods, sorry to say. I won't breathe easy until then. You're right. Well, Ikana's still infesting the whole town. Hawaii's not safe for us. Not with them around. Lonnie could get taken again. I see. Kasuga. Are Akane-san and Lonnie ready to come to Japan? For the both of them, Japan will be much more secure. Yeah, no doubt about it. Problem is... We're not sure we can use the airports anymore. The Daidoji faction safe house was bugged by Aichan, so they must know all our plans. That private jet of theirs is too vulnerable. In fact, I bet Bryce is drooling over the chance to sabotage it. That could be. But Lani needs to get out of there somehow, before they close in. Time's not on our side. Okay, I'll find a way, I promise. Thanks. I think we got most of that. Hawaiian vacation's over? The question <laughs> is how we leave. Ichiban's right. Planes are no-go. What about ships, then? Can we hop a cruise to Japan? Any method of travel with other passengers or crew would be a risk. Maybe the Fujinomiya could charter us another private jet or something. Not an option. It's what they call an impasse. Not your concern. What, are you kicking us out? You're so cold to me, Tomizawa-kun. Would it <laughs> thaw your heart if I said I could get you to Japan? Uh, really? Does this strike you as the appropriate time to mock us? Don't mean mug me, son. You still think I can't be trusted? Fine. Good luck to you all. Stop. I want to hear your plan. Shh. Come on. Tommy, I get why this is hard for you. Yamai's helped us a lot already. Can we please just hear him out? I guess so. Okay, then. How do you plan to get us back to Japan, Yamai? Simple. I got a boat of my own. I'll give you a ride. Your boat? Yeah, a pretty little tugboat. We took it as collateral for a loan. Never had much cause to use it before. Which means old Bryce don't know about it. That is somewhat promising. Hawaii is 6,000 kilometers from Japan, though. A tugboat can't make that trip. But it can get you off the mainland. After that, you fly home courtesy of Japan's Coast Guard. It's already arranged. The Coast Guard? Wait a sec, what's already arranged? This all seems way too easy. I don't have to explain myself. It's an offer, and you can take it or leave it. This is some kind of trick that's really fucked up. Hmm. 
What do you say, Kasuga? It sounds perfect. Doubt I know you'd say that. <laughs> You're a credulous man. What am I gonna do? We haven't got anything better. Kiryu-san said it already. Time's not our friend. Besides... Besides what? Like it or not, you earned my trust. In fact, I think the two of us are pretty alike. Huh? You and me, we're both willing to carry the load for someone, right? You half-wit. If I thought we were alike, I'd eat a bullet. <laughs> All right, okay, point made. But our answer's still yes. We good? We leave tomorrow morning. Make sure you're all ready to go. Thanks. So, everybody in? Seriously? What's the point of asking now? <laughs> For real? I've got to get packed. Who knows how long I'll be away. Well, complaints aside, we're together on this, yeah? Yamai still creeps me out, but Ichiban knows I'll follow. Oh yeah, we've been through so much by now. What's one more bad idea? Exactly. As I said, you have the most reliable allies, no? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey. Das Boot liegt vor einem Lagerhaus westlich der Harbour Street. Ich kann die Frauen hinbringen, während ihr Palikaner ablenkt. Okay. Klingt gut, danke. Ähm, nur für den Fall, dass wir von Haku überwältigt werden oder so, dann bringst du die Sache zu Ende, ja? What's that? Vergiss es, ihr kommt zum Boot. Ist mir egal, ob ihr kriechen müsst. Ja, du hast recht, sorry, ich habe nichts gesagt. Wir sehen uns morgen früh. Okay, ruh dich in Revolve aus. Machen wir. Wir gucken aber eben nochmal, ob wir noch eine Gespräch. Gesprächsoption freigeschaltet haben, aber wahrscheinlich nicht, ne? Nö. Judy. Äh, Taxi geradeaus. Ja. Wird das oder so wieder in die Hose gehen, oder? Wir Zeit. Wir sollten Jamais Geduld nicht auf die Probe stellen. Oh. Das ist da, wo die Nebenaufgabe ist. Apologies for the wait. Bryce will know something's up by now. Let's get going. Boss, be 
careful out there. We'll be praying for your safe return. Keep your goddamn voices down and don't die before I'm back. <laughs> Boss, good luck. <sighs> Boss, eat your fine. I wish you well. <gasps> Tell me. Are you serious? Why aren't you in the boat? Because this is my home. What am I doing going to Japan? Well, isn't your father Japanese? You never wanted to see the homeland? I think about it sometimes, maybe, but it's still a foreign country. Don't think about that right now, okay? It's dangerous. We need you with us. about things told me oh okay okay if you guys really insist I've got no choice <laughs> it's obvious you just wanted to make us beg you know <laughs> admit it the nervous homebody act is pretty cute I'll stuff you in a suitcase next time. <sighs> We're pretty far out here. Yeah, that's the idea. Hopefully we can reach the Japan Coast Guard unseen. I'd hold that thought. Cavalry's coming. <gasps> Dwight. Stubborn bastard. <clears throat> Hit the brakes. Stay inside. You might look after them. Better make it quick. We shouldn't linger. These are feeding grounds. Feeding grounds? My advice stay clear of the water. I don't follow, but okay. Let's go. Let's go. You weren't planning on leaving, were you? Not even a goodbye, Kasuga? <laughs> Far as I'm concerned, you and I already said our goodbyes, and then some. Dwight, Dick, where do you get off showing up here? Need I remind you, I've still got you a little glamour shot. <laughs> Tommy Zawa, <laughs> that was it, huh? You folks don't understand them sins. A real man. Never leaves things hanging. I should have stuck that machete into your heart. Huh. Hawaii might have thanked you. Ever since I came here, I've taken everything by force and never left nothing half done. Real impressive. Sounds like we need to teach you how to tell when it's time to quit. <laughs> you couldn't teach me shit on your best day. <laughs> Besides, Take a look at all the men I still got. Oh! 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 Shark? Don't tell me. The feeding grounds. Look around. More coming. No. No way. <laughs> Interesting turn of events, I'd say. Guess you fucks are gonna be chum twice over. Barracuda and shark feet both. Let me ask him. Still wants to go? Give him a rest, dude. Keep an eye on those sharks. 
They get a hold. That'll be it. Oh, shit! These damn things jumped aboard. Watch it, Tommy. Don't get too close. Here I come. This might stink a little. Get you! Okay. Einmal heilen. Voll. Ja. Ja, wo kommt... Ey, das ist doch so assi. Oh, 
Thank you. So affig, ne? Over, pal. Now what? Gonna beg Bryce for forgiveness? <laughs> Funny how easily you say his name. That man has no forgiveness in him. Not for me, or for you. I get that Polycana's big in Hawaii and everything. Still, though, I'm tired.
talk about him like he really is some kind of prophet. And you haven't got a clue. To you, Bryce must seem like some kind of small-time con man, leeching off true believers. So, that sounds about right. Polycana has more power than you could ever imagine. The sage, he's more monster than he is a man. What? <laughs> You'll see for yourself before it's all over. Like they say, believe, and you shall be saved. Too late for me. I've let him down too often. All of Hawaii will burn before long. I hear the slopes of Switzerland are beautiful this time of the year. What a jerk. Throws his own people to the sharks. Quiet. Keep watching. Am I? Sharks have a peculiar way of looking at the world, you know. Most just hop by scent. What if they happen to catch something casting a bright light at sea? Huh? All that flashy jewelry of his sure did shine real pretty at night. <laughs> he goddamn draped himself with dinner bells. There, the man who would be king ends his sorry life as shark shit. People come swarming to paradise trying to suck it dry. But no matter how tough they are, there's still nothing to an island's natural guardians. How's that for a moral? Well now, those natural guardians gave you a pass this time. Maybe they appreciate the help. So, you gonna hang on to that picture of his? Eh, not for long. Let the dead rest in peace. You pissed, ain't? We actually made it. This is Japanese soil, right? Yep. Official air base of the Japan Coast Guard. We're really home. Ah. It's completely now. So this is Japan. It's pretty dreary, to be honest. Are you serious? We're past the airport, at least. It's very curious. Yamai procuring this route so conveniently. You got a point. Uh, hey. <gasps> huh? Wait a second. Hi there, Adachi san. And you, Ichiban Kasuga. Been a while. I see. This must be luck. Date-san? Hako-chan, what the hell are you doing here? Hmm. Yamai didn't fill you both in? Hey, Yamai. <sighs> Let's get this over with, Inspector. Yutaki Yamai, I presume. Had to put a face to the name. I'm with Division One, Makoto Date. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> so you're Date-san. Mm hmm. Didn't believe my ears when I got your call. You talk of Yamai. You confessed to the murder of Shuji Tabata? Yep. I'm the one who offed Tabata. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Can we slow down? Somebody want to explain what's happening? This isn't exactly information for the public. I suppose you all hardly qualify as that. Yamai was once Tojo Clan serving in the Tabata family. We're aware of that? Yeah. He killed his patriarch and fled the country, right? You already know that much. This will be quick. Following that, Yamai spent nearly the next three decades overseas, until just recently calling to give himself up after all this time. 
In fact, he asked for me by name. You what? Always heard you were a decent enough guy for a detective. Spare me, would you? Murder or not, 30 years is an eternity. File was collecting dust. When the call first came in, I almost brushed it off as a prank and hung up. Then, he started describing details on this case most cops aren't even old enough to remember. So I knew. It really must be, am I, after all this time. He gave us one condition for surrender. That the police assist in discreetly bringing a small party into the country alongside him. But we had no reason to agree. America has a long-standing extradition treaty with us. Bringing in Yamai through the proper channels would be simple. Of course, when I told him we refused his condition, he insisted it was non-negotiable. <sighs> At that point, I considered forgetting the call entirely. <sighs> but maybe I'm a fool for a last chance on a cold case. I have an acquaintance of the Coast Guard I was able to work something out with. <sighs> I haven't had to bow my head so much in a long time. Uh, seriously? You really turned yourself in on a murder charge to get us all into Japan safely? Tell me, Sawako. Don't give me the fucking eyes. I'm just an old criminal, tired of hiding. Yeah, maybe so, but still. I just can't believe that... Imagine my surprise when he told me who the party was. <sighs> Well, that pretty much covers it. <sighs> Am I? I'm placing you under arrest. Come along. Hmm? Detective, all these years and you never learned not to trust killers? Huh? <gasps> Am I? Sir, are you okay? <laughs> Get after you, my, damn it! Whoa, hold on! Tomi? I can get him to come back. Just give me a little time, please. Excuse me? No, he's a fugitive. But believe me, that man does not run away from responsibility. I should know better than anyone being his goddamn errand boy. There has to be something going on. <sighs> Stop it! You might can deal with this himself. We're so close to getting home. Indeed. Our priority here is Akane-san and Lani's protection, not his. Date-san, let us get him back. He brought us all this way. I'm not going to leave him on his own. Ichiban! Shiton, Junki, you're right. But after this, if we don't calm the situation down ourselves, they'll start a brand new manhunt. I owe Yamai too much for that. I'm sorry, but I can't abandon him. Ah, uh, Ichiban. Screw this! Move aside! Wait... Date-san? Kiri, you filled me in on all the details. This girl, Lani... He's been risking his life to bring her to safety. <sighs> Is Yamai really more important to you than coming through for him? They're both important. You can't make me choose just one. I don't need reminding. He entrusted me with Akane-san and Lani. No one else. We'll split into two groups. Let me handle Yamai. He isn't brought back soon. My superiors may consider you his accomplices. Understand? Yeah. Loud and clear. Uh-huh. Hmm. Those eyes are the kind that look for trouble. Just the same as his. Adachi-san, I barely know Kasuga. And the other one, even less. You're the person I'm betting on. Am I making a mistake here? Nope. Mako-chan, one thing I can guarantee you, you're a good bet. Adachi-san. You've always been too trusting. You want to talk. Hey, Kasuga. Sir. You might could have run off to a lot of places, but... I checked with Yui Tabata myself. That name? Yamai was in love with her, right? That's right. If Yamai regrets anything he had to leave behind, 
I imagine that it's her. Thank you so much! You, is there a toilet around here? Stomach's been acting up all morning. <laughs> the toilet, sir? Ugh. Bubbling like a cauldron down there. This'll take an hour or two, I'll bet. But, wait, Dante-san! Mako-chan just gave us a two-hour time limit. You better move fast. Uh, uh, dante -san. Thank you for having our back. <laughs> I gotta come through sometimes, too, you know. Jungi, can Akane-san and Lani stay with you? May I expect your swift return? But where are we gonna look? Yamai's after Yui Tabata, and he's headed to Kamurocho as the crow flies. Whatever's left of the Tabata family, will be hanging around there. Got it! Let's hurry! Yongi hat die Gruppe verlassen. Kamurucho, das weckt Erinnerung. Wem sagst du das? Aber wir können nicht in Erinnerung schwelgen. Wir müssen Jamai finden. Yo. Er sucht also jemanden namens Yui Tabata. Wenn wir herausfinden, wo sie ist, wissen wir, wo er hin will. Okay. Ja, yep. es muss in der Stadt irgendjemanden geben, der sich an die Tabata-Familie erinnert. Er muss es uns nur noch verraten. <lacht> wo findet man so jemanden denn überhaupt? Ich weiß nicht zufällig, wo die Tabata-Familie ihr Büro hatte. Ja. Yeah. Ich habe ein richtig gutes Gedächtnis für sowas. Kamu. Kamuro Building Nummer 3, Pink Pine Street. Jedenfalls war es vor 30 Jahren dort. Wenn das die einzige Spur ist, dann auf zu Pike Street. So. Bam, bam, bam. Go. Still good to go. Wir gucken noch mal eben kurz nach Ausrüstung. Ein Laden, der teure Ausrüstung anbietet. Ja, der ist doch der Einzigste, ne? Gehen wir da noch mal kurz rein. Guten Tag. Ersten haben wir schon, ne? Kamuru Nummer 3, da ist es. Die Tabata-Familie ist längst weg. Es wird nicht mehr viel von ihrem Büro übrig sein. Yo. Was ist mit anderen Mietern oder Nachbarn? Vielleicht gibt es ein paar alte Säcke wie Adachi, die sich noch an sie mhm. erinnern. Wenn wir Glück haben. Äh, Entschuldigung, ich habe zufällig eure Unterhaltung gehört. Mhm. Geh weiter, Opa, wir sind beschäftigt. Tut mir leid, es ist nur lange her, dass hier jemand die Tabata-Familie erwähnt hat. Moment, kennst du die Tabata-Familie? Sie sind vor Jahrzehnten untergegangen, aber 
Ja, ich habe damals hier gearbeitet, als sie die Gegend kontrolliert haben. Okay, das ging schnell. Aber hallo. Ihr vier sucht also nach... Nicht nach der Familie, nach ihrer Matriarchin sozusagen. Tabata, kennst du die? Tabata? Himmel noch... Himmel, noch so ein Name, den ich lange nicht gehört habe. Super, na dann rück raus mit der Info. Hm. Sie war in der Gegend richtig berühmt. Angeblich hat irgend... Ein Jungspund den Patriarchen getötet, um sie für sich zu gewinnen. Ha, was muss das für ein armer, junger Idiot gewesen sein. Diese Frau konnte niemand zähmen. Das hat letztlich auch zum Zusammenbruch der Familie geführt. War wirklich schade, die waren damals richtig gut fürs Geschäft. Und wo ist die Matriarchin Tabata jetzt? Oh, keine Ahnung. Ich weiß nur, dass ihr junger Verehrer wohl ins Ausland geflohen ist, nachdem er ihren Mann erschossen hatte. Wobei... Es gibt da noch ein altes Tabata-Mitglied, den könntet ihr fragen. Wo? Oh. Vermutlich in dem Pachinko-Salon auf der Nakamichi Street. Hab gehört, er steht auf Pachinko. Wie sieht der aus? Hm. Der ist bestimmt schon weit über 60, aber er läuft immer noch so rum. Hat sogar ein paar dämliche Handlanger. Schwer zu übersehen. Das sollte reichen. Wir müssen den Typen finden, bevor ihr Mais fährte kalt wird. Machen wir uns auf, den, auf die Socken. Okay. Für die Hilfe. Hm. So alte Geschichten muss man irgendwann loslassen, wenn überhaupt jemals was Wahres dran war. Ist davon, ist davon nach so langer Zeit nichts mehr übrig. Was für ein komischer Bursche. Ja, da sagst du was. Ist das der Pachinko-Salon, den er meinte? Zeit. Wie? Warst du früher mal bei der Tabata-Familie? Haben wir von einem alten Mann auf der Pine Street gehört. Mhm. Alter Mann? Ha, ich weiß, wen du meinst. Und warum wollt ihr das wissen? Das ist eine lange Geschichte, aber es ist gerade extrem wichtig, dass wir Tabatas anfinden. Eure alte Matriarchin. Ja. Die Matriarchin? Warum zur Hölle das denn? Sorry. Tut mir leid, aber wir haben keine Zeit für Klärung. Wenn du weißt, wo sie ist, kannst du es uns bitte sagen. Ja. Behandle mich nicht wie irgendeinen Penner. Ihr wollt Infos, aber könnt mir nicht sagen, warum. Klar sogar, ich glaube, so kriegen wir nichts aus ihm raus. Scheiße, es geht um Yamai. Er ist wieder in Japan. Oh. Was? Yamai? Und wir glauben, er hat noch etwas mit ihr zu klären. Wir versuchen, ihn zu finden und das geht am besten über Yui-san. Seid ihr etwa Yamais neue Crew? So ungefähr. Und er ist wirklich wieder in der Stadt? Ja. Sie. Ich hätte nie gedacht, dass dieses Arschloch noch mal aufkreuzt. Oh. Hey, hol das Auto. Wir müssen zum Masada-Krankenhaus. Ja, Mai ist ein toter Mann. Nein, warte. Oh, ich habe lange genug gewartet. Glaub mir. Überlass ja Mai uns. Wir wollen ihn dazu bringen, sich zu stellen. Es tut mir leid, aber wir sind es ihm schuldig. Ich meine, scheiße, was mache ich denn? Warum setze ich mich für ja Mai ein? Weil er der einzige Grund ist, wieso wir Akane-san und Lani sicher zurück nach Japan holen konnten. Komm schon. Ich habe keine Ahnung, wer diese Leute sind, aber Yamai hat nicht nur meinen, meinen Boss getötet, sondern unsere ganze Familie zu Fall gebracht. Guck mich doch an, wegen diesem Pisser ist mein Leben dem Bach runtergegangen. Er hat keinen einzigen Funken Gnade verdient. Oh bitte, das ist 30 Jahre her. Wenn du Yamai wirklich die Schuld an all deinen Misserfolgen gibst, ist das erbärmlich. Man kann sich auch ohne Familie ein Leben aufbauen. Was? Glaub mir, sie weiß, wovon sie redet. Jetzt reicht's. Ich habe schon viel zu lange keine Klugscheißer mehr vermöbelt. Okay.
That's echt? Verdammt, wenn ich doch nur 30 Jahre jünger wäre. Wir verschwenden nur gegenseitig unsere Zeit, da frage ich dich nur noch mal. Ist im Masada Krankenhaus, habe ich das richtig gehört? Ah. Ja, vielen Dank. Und jetzt sei nicht so dumm und trag die Geschichte nicht noch ein Leben lang mit dir rum. Bleib einfach beim Pachinko. Geht klar, also ab ins Masada Krankenhaus. Yes. Am besten kommt man da mit einem Taxi hin. Okidoki. Hier ist kein Taxi. Hm, ja, das hört sich ja geil an. Who's there? You're mine. Yo. Took you a while. Yui Tvar. That's her? Yumai. What did you come here for? If you knew I'd be here, you obviously did your research, no? Revenge? On an old lady in the hospital? Even for you, that's some selfish shit. You fell in love with her and killed her husband over it. I'd say you got your revenge a long time ago. You're right. Got no excuses. Oh, come on. Look me in my face. You're gonna let me get away with that? You know something? You're a hard man to please, Tomizawa kun. Alzheimer's disease. Woman's only 57. That's too old to be called early onset. But still too young. She doesn't even know who I am. Thirty years ago, she had everything a woman could want. She'd go on million yen shopping sprees, order champagne towers every night. You would bleed, kill to make that money. 
She tossed it away like paper. And I loved her for it. I shouldn't have. But I just fell further and further. Seems uncharacteristic for you tolerating all that. Maybe it's the uncharacteristic things about us that make us human. The boss was willing to look past all our faults. Except having another man in the picture. And of all the men she could have, she chose his captain. The boss was always going to find out. That's when she finally noticed this big dumb. She could tell at a glance I was crazy about her. She got me alone. She whispered to me. If the boss ever finds out about me and him, I'm dead. You have to kill him for me. Kids are stupid. Growing up is learning that jobs like that have no happy endings. But you did it anyway. I thought it was my only chance. I remember saying, anything for you. Who was that 20-year-old boy who used to think like that? The matriarch had a plan for it all. That night, I'd accompany her to the boss's office so she could talk to him. She would tell him about the captain. He would hit her. And I would kill him to save her from his rage. She'd protect me from the police and the family. A good deal. So we went through with it. The moment she saw he was done breathing, she ripped her clothes and ran. Yamai killed the boss and came after me, she said. What the hell? She set you up? Picture perfect frame job. Ha. Huh. Have to hand it to her. Best Yakuza couldn't have done it better. <clears throat> Had to go on the run after that. I only got to see her one more time. The dirt had just settled on the boss's tomb, but she and that captain were living happy and openly. Huh? You know, I think that was the moment I started getting shivers. My blood's run cold ever since. Made up my mind to flee the country then. I wanted to forget it all. That's really how it happened. You'll recall whether or not you believe me. If it all went down like you said, why were you just staring at her when we came? If you wanted revenge, we'd have been too late to stop you. I thought that's what I was coming here for. And then I saw her. Is it already time for breakfast? Now, there's nothing romantic left to this. My whole life, she was always far beyond my reach. Hmm? <sighs> okay. Story time's over. I can imagine we got somewhere to be. I'm afraid that's true. We've been here too long, listening to all this. <laughs> Turns out I was right about you. Huh? Like it or not, you are the type to carry the load for someone. Oh, do you ever shut up? <laughs> I can't get over this. Never thought I'd hear you say so much about yourself. <laughs> Me neither. Maybe after all this time, I had to let it out. Just to you guys. Wow. Right. Let's not keep the detective waiting. I'm heading back. Pardon? Could you turn the heat up in here? I'm very cold. Ich hab's noch nicht äh, angehabt, den Berg. Thank you so much. Anything for you. You all right? I 
was too warm anyway. Yeah, he must think he's so slick. Well, I think he's slick. Yeah. The Zeitenwende. So, letzte Kapitel. It's Japan. Can't say I'm used to that yet. Same for me. Still, to see the Seiryu clan so openly transition to a non-profit and even be welcomed by the public? Well, I've never seen a chairman do that before. Please, I'm just thinking of the future. Nonsense. This was by no means an easy feat, you know. Here, here. For years. Anti-gang laws had given us a choice of two options. Stay small or go underground. And now we're basically endorsed by the country. Finally, there's another way out. The Yakuza have been aiding this country for decades. Ever since all that chaos snaked its way in after the war. This is the evolution of that. Better yet, I'd say it's exactly how things should be. Absolutely. It might even help the world to see the truth, that the Yakuza are still needed. A necessary evil, if you will. Yeah. We'll take our rightful place at the heart of it all. Secure our legacy for years to come. <laughs> the future of the Yakuza is looking real bright. Hell, it's brighter than ever before. Yes, and for that, I'll need you all to be at your absolute best. I'm counting on you. Now then, let's call it a day. Thank you, everyone. I thought I told you to cut that out. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Anyway, thanks again. Narasaki, a moment, if you would. Sir? I wanted to discuss some personnel changes. Oh. Honestly, I'm ashamed. Only Yakuza filth would resort to a cheap tactic like this. Still, if you want to let your hate run wild, well... A knife in the back's just the thing. Minimal effort. Maximum suffering. <laughs> the future of the Yakuza? <laughs> it was a pipe dream from the start. When the trash is full, the only thing left to do is take it out. <laughs> All this time, they've put their trust in me. And they've had no clue. It's almost tragic. Isn't it, Sawashiro-san? I mean, no. I was hoping you'd live long enough to see it. The only future your kind have waiting. Now then, it's been about a week since the incident. Could you tell us more about the people who attacked the Seiryu clan offices? Well, firstly, it should be said that this marks a historic shift for the Yakuza world. 
A few years ago, the Tojo clan and the Omi alliance, for decades the Yakuza's two biggest players, mutually disbanded. Among those in the trade, this event was labeled the Great Dissolution. The largest remaining Yakuza group thereafter was the Seiryu clan, who of course was the target of last week's attack. Right, and? And now, the same Seiryu clan, the current frontrunner, has taken up the torch to disband every other group still in Japan. Yes, I see. That certainly does sound historic. But the real question is, is it possible? You'd be fair to ask. At the very least, it does seem unrealistic. However, as a first step to seeing it through, the clan officially confirmed its disbandment to the police just the other day. So the torchbearers took initiative, set an example to the group still active. Correct. Additionally, the Seiryu clan also aims to reintegrate former members back into society. They mean to implement an occupation support program in partnership with a Hawaiian volunteer group, it seems. And in order to officiate things with the government, they've since reformed into a non-profit. Naturally, as the country can't just openly cooperate with organized crime. Of course, while it may be a means to an end, it does show how serious the Seiryu clan's taking things. Let's not forget, they did disband. It's also expected that the other Yakuza groups across the country will follow suit, leading this movement to now be called the Second Great Dissolution. Now, some out there won't take it too kindly to this, as you might have guessed. And there's a spark, the connection to the incident at the Seiryu headquarters. Ah, so those were the dissenters? They were responsible for the attack? Looking at those involved, yes, it seems highly likely. Speaking of, actually, the man pictured here is the one they call Hiryu. It's suspected he's the central figure of those opposing the Yakuza's disbandment. Really? And just who are we dealing with here? You'll recall I mentioned the Tojo clan earlier, previously one of the largest Yakuza groups in Japan. He's one of its former chairmen. In short, a true blue Yakuza big shot. Rumor is, Kiryu wants anything but disbandment, which can only mean he wants the Yakuza back on top. I see. Well, regarding Kiryu, it's also said he has ties with the so-called Hero of Yokohama, that being one Ichiban Kasuga. He too has been in the news of late, after forcing former Yakuza to commit theft under the guise of reacclimating to society. And Kasuga's also a former Tojo clan member on top of that. As it stands, there's a good chance he's acting under Kiryu's command, a cog in his machine. Therefore, we're looking at a unique conflict. In one corner, the Siryu clan, who seek to tear down tradition and forge a new path. And in the other, Kazuma Kiryu, who aims to revive the old ways for his own interests. A clash between new and old ideologies. So it seems. Thank you for your time. Following the attack, the culprits promptly went into hiding. As citizens remain frightened, it is imperative that these assailants be found as soon as possible. Got word from the lookout. Doesn't seem like people know you're here. Sorry to trouble you like this, Chief. With all that's happened, this was the best place I could think of. Hey, I'm not gonna turn away women and children. That being said, I never thought I'd see you back here again. <laughs> Even brought friends this time. Our apologies, Chief. We really appreciate it. The world outside says you're a criminal certainly got the face for it but I'll tell you I only ever trust what I see for myself I've seen a lot you're not the kind of man to shake things up still <laughs> that mug's terrifying <laughs> he heard you the first time thank you sir when the time comes I'll be sure to repay you well y'all just kick back for now check in again soon The Chief really helped us out. Thanks for doing all this, Kasuga. Nah, I can't exactly say we're in the clear. But we're lucky to have a safe zone, especially with the world watching. 
Yeah. And plus, we can't stay hidden forever. Maybe nice moving quick. Once the waste disposal project on LA Island's in motion, countless Seiryu clan members will be exploited. We need to act before Ebina gets the chance. Right. Ebina? What? It's been some time, Kasuga-san. Missed Japan, did we? Japan? Wait, how'd you know I was here? <laughs> and I thought you wouldn't be surprised. But no matter. I got reports from Dwight's men, just as you were off and on your way. Bryce and I are still business partners, you know. Anyhow, Kiryu-san's there with you too, yes? Kiryu-san? And what if he was? What do you want, Ebina? Kiryu-san? It's fine, Kazuka. With all those resources, Ebina probably knew we'd meet up. Glad you see how it works. And with that, I've got some great news for you. Our Yakuza rehabilitation program was approved. Just yesterday, the government gave us free reign to see it through. Well, isn't that nice? So what? You call us just to get your kicks or something? Of course. The least I can do is share the joy with others. <laughs> Goody. Actually, there's one other thing. Thought perhaps you'd want to know. Huh? It seems I've caught myself a rat. And I must say, it's a big one. Kasuga-san should appreciate this. Hmm. Captain! Uh, did you really think I wouldn't notice his betrayal? Of all people, knowing his intentions, I let him roam free until the proverbial ball started rolling. In fact, Sawashiro-san was quite instrumental in gathering our colleagues. They poured in left and right. What do you plan to do with him? Are you still set on taking revenge against the Yakuza? I doubt you'd make this kind of display otherwise. Who would? Revenge? <laughs> Who's to say? My reason for this is simple. I could think of no better bait to reel you in. You wouldn't leave him to die, would you? It's not in your character. Don't worry. About me. Apologies. Now, if you all would please come to the top floor of the Millennium Tower by 10 p.m. tomorrow. Miss our little appointment, and I dispose of the rat, plain and simple. Till then. Hmm. Then we're going to the Millennium Tower. Baiting us with a hostage. Guess he wants us out in the open. Yeah, we know the truth about his plans. That's the last thing he wants. This guy must be special. What with Ebby not holding him like that, right? This is our hero, I mean. No way you could just ignore that. I, I mean, we got the talent, don't we? So, let's go save him. No, Ebby is not the only issue here. Not with what's happening overseas. just announced the Seiryu clan, now known as Nonprofit Bleach Japan, rehabilitation program and all, has been officially approved by the Japanese government. It is believed the government and Bleach Japan had been coordinating their plans behind closed doors for some time. A week prior to the announcement, a cruise ship carrying former Seiryu clan members left Japan for Honolulu. The ship arrived in the city just earlier today. On location, Hawaii's governor and Bryce Fairchild of partner organization Polykana welcomed the vice representative of Bleach Japan, Eiji Mitamura, as he stepped ashore. Oh, sneaky bat! The first wave's already there. The ship is scheduled to depart for Nelly Island tomorrow, where the program will officially get underway. They're bringing the Yakuza to the island tomorrow. Once they touch down, neither the state of Hawaii nor the Japanese government will care what happens next. They'll have wiped their hands clean, and that'll be that. And from there, they'll work as Bryce's slaves, dumping nuclear waste till the day they die. What a joke. 
We don't have a lot of time, not for Japan or Hawaii. What's the call? We split up. Might be dangerous. We can't let either one go. Kazuga, about Ebina. Mind if I handle things out here? You go and stop Bryce in Hawaii. Huh? Any reason? Actually, I'd like to work with him. There's some speculation, of course. But it's about Ebina's origins. His what? We can talk outside. I'll be waiting. Uh... Kyrissan wollte mit mir über Ebinas Vergangenheit reden. So, wir werden erstmal schön speichern.